In this multi-part series, I'm going to show you how to send email directly from a Panorama database. In this first part, I'll show you how to configure Panorama for sending emails. This is done with the Channels wizard, which you'll find in the Preferences submenu of the Wizard menu. The Channels wizard has various options, but for right now, all we are interested in is email, so I'll click on that. Now you have a list of various channels that can be used to send email. If you're using a Windows system, you'll want to choose the CDLL channel. All the other channels are for the Macintosh. Before you can use this channel, you need to configure it with the information for your SMTP mail server. This is the same information you used when you set up your regular email client. If you don't have that information, you'll need to get it from your ISP or from whoever man manages your network. First, you'll need the URL address of the mail server. This is usually something like mail.someisp.com or smtp.someisp.com. The next line is your email address. Panorama will use this as a return address if you don't specify a return address when you send an email. The next line is the name that's going to be used for sending email. This is optional, but if it's provided, the recipient will see this name on any email sent from Panorama. This can be overridden on a case-by-case -case basis. The user ID is your account name on the SMTP server. If you don't get this right, the server will refuse to send your email. For many SMTP servers, you'll also need to enter a password. If the SMTP server uses authentication, you'll need to enter that option. The possible choices are plain, login, cram, and MD5. Consult your ISP or network administrator to find out which option is appropriate. For most SMTP servers, the port should be set to 25. However, some servers use a different port, so check with your ISP or network administrator if you have problems. The timeout and background options are not used, so you can leave them blank. Once all the options are set up, you can close the channels wizard. You shouldn't need to touch these again unless your SMTP server options change. If you are using a Mac, then you have to make a choice of which channel to use. If you normally use Apple Mail or Eudora as your main email client, then you will probably want to pick one of those options. These are easy to use because you don't have to set up the SMTP server information. It's already set up in the email client. If you are not using Apple Mail or Eudora, then I recommend using the Python channel. In that case, you'll need to set up the various SMTP server options, just like I did earlier for Windows. Now that I've configured the email channel, I'm ready to start sending emails from Panorama. Check out the next episode to see how that's done.